Hello class of 2022. My name is Steve Watson. I'm the Digital Learning Program Coordinator for Sioux City Schools. Today I'm excited to introduce you to a project that I've been thinking about a lot and we're finally going to kick it off with your class in creating an academic digital portfolio. This portfolio is going to be a place for you to capture all of those moments and all of those pieces of work that you're really proud of. That could be a really cool project you created in science or it might be a time in math where something was really, really challenging and then you finally got it. This is going to be a place for you to highlight all those things that you're really proud of in your academic career. And you can also include some of those extracurricular activities that you were involved with as well. Overall, this is going to be a great place to build a positive digital footprint and to share your story, your positive story of what you've accomplished throughout your high school career. Uh, by the time this is over, hopefully at the end, when you're a senior, you'll be able to sit down with a small panel and talk about your progress, talk about all the ways that you've grown, and potentially use this as a, a piece of an application for your post-secondary plans. And it's just going to be a great piece, if anything, to see how far you've come from your freshman year all the way to your senior year. So in this tutorial, we're really just going to build out the structure of our portfolio and then over the next four years you will have some guidance on when you will develop and uh, submit artifacts and then once you get the structure down you can also do all those things on your own too so in this tutorial again we're gonna get started by creating the structure for our digital portfolio so the first thing we'll want to do is to log into a browser, and you should be familiar with this page, is our Digital Learning Resources Splash page. Under high school, we're going to go ahead and log into SCCSD blogs. Depending on what course you're in, you may already have created some blogs, but we're going to create one specifically for the digital portfolio for all of your academic career. We can log in up here. When you log in, simply just use your username and password that you would log into your computer with. Now, a few things on my page will look different from yours just because I am an administrator of this, but the overall concept is going to basically be the same. So first we'll start off over in My Sites, and we can actually click this My Sites over here in the corner. Right now you should only have you may have a few sites you may just have one but we're going to add a new one so my sites add new and here's where we're going to name this so for our naming scheme we are simply going to uh, type in your last name and first initial and then academic portfolio so mine would be Watts S. Academic Portfolio. And in here, you're going to simply put your name in Academic Portfolio. This can change at some point when you're done. Uh, this, on the other hand, will, will stay as is. And make sure in your site name you have all lowercase, all one word. And here you can uh, change that to whatever you'd like, but we're going to stick with our academic portfolio. And typically for securities and privacy, we'll click on Search Engine Blocked. And from there we have our name, site name, and what we want for privacy, we can hit Create Site. Now you can see that site has been created, and so when I click here, it will take me to my new site. Now anytime we want to go in here, we'll simply want to highlight over uh, the site we have and click on our dashboard. And in our dashboard, here's where we're going to create our our site and, and our structure for our pages. So inside my site, 
I always check up here. I always like to double check up here just in case I've I built sites on and I was on the wrong the wrong one, but we want to make sure we're in our academic portfolio. We're going to start off with pages. So when I click on pages, um, it starts with this sample page. I can go ahead and trash that. Now I don't have any pages set up, and I'm going to add new. And right now we're just going to make four pages that are going to act as our parent pages. We're going to do 9th grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. 9th grade, and I'm going to hit publish. Going to add new. And I'm going to hit publish. Okay, so right now I should have four pages. Now, uh, to see what this looks like, I always like to change the theme. Now, you can always adjust this and figure out what you want it to look like on your own. But here I'm going to click Themes. And just for a baseline, I always like to look at this Adele theme. So I'm going to activate the Adele theme. And now I'm actually going to go up and view my site. So as you can see, this is a little out of order. So we're going to have to go in and fix that. But overall, we're going to create these four tabs. And that will be kind of our baseline for what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and go in and fix this. I'm going to go back to my site profile up top, hit Dashboard. And when I do pages, I can simply change this right now. I can do a quick edit, and it asks me what order I want this. I'm going to put one, update, and I'm going to do that one, two, three, four for this quick edits. Now when I go back to visit my site, all of these are now in the correct order. So since you're in ninth grade, we're simply going to start off there, go back to my dashboard for editing, click on my pages, and I'm going to do a new page. And here I want you to think about all of your academic classes you have right now. So I'm just going to mock one of these up. I have biology. And rather than just hitting publish, now we want to put this under a parent page. So our parent is going to be under ninth grade. Publish. Add new. So you do this for all of your courses you are currently taking. Make sure you add it under that parent page. So you can include that again for all of the courses that you are taking. I'll add one more in here. You, you will have more classes than I do. I need to make sure I put that underneath of my parent page. Update. Now when I go back to my visit site, I'll be able to see 
I have multiple pages for each one of these. Okay, now last thing we're going to want to do is build out just a little bit more structure for our site. Back to dashboard, back to pages, and so for each one of these courses we're going to want to put an extra page for each quarter. And so over time we're going to try to, here's the goal, we want to try to add one, uh, one artifact per quarter over the course of your whole career in high school. I know that probably seems like a lot right now, but as soon as you did something you're really proud of in one of your classes, you say, hey, I want to publish this and write about it. And we'll give you some more structure on that later on. So I can just go add page. And this one's going to be quarter one. You could also name this first quarter, marking period one, whatever you'd like. And now for my parent, I'm going to put all of these under algebra. Publish. Add new. Quarter two. Quarter three. And quarter four. Okay. So I go back to my site. So here's what this thing's going to look like. Right now, I have this, all my, my drop downs. And from here, we'll be able to go through and click on each one of these quarters now. In here, we're also going to have to go through and change the order real quick. Back to dashboard, pages, and then we can do a quick edit on these as well. One, two, three, and four. Now when I go back and view this, I should see this. Go to Algebra, have all of these in order, and eventually when, when I click on these, this is where I'm going to share some information, uh, maybe an artifact, a link, a picture, a video, some sort of project, and a description of something I'm proud of. Again, this is just like all about me, the best of me type of academic portfolio, and it will be really nice to take a look at this um, over the course of your high school career. Um, so to finish this off, you guys can go ahead and for each one of your classes, at each one of the quarters, and when you're done with that, uh, you're done for now. We'll give you further instruction. Uh, thank you again for working hard on this and I look forward to seeing your portfolios and seeing how much you grow over the next couple of years.